Are you struggling as a new beekeeper? Are your hives dying? Are they not thriving? My name is Mark Johnson. I have 12 hives here in Westerville, Ohio. Today, I wanna to explain the three fears that I had to overcome in order to be a successful beekeeper. Ironically, I've been scared of bees since I was about three years old. It's my earliest childhood memory. We were at a family picnic on the 4th of July and we were at my great uncle's place and my dad and grandpa were on top of the dock getting ready to go out on the boat fishing on the lake. The vibration from my grandpa and father walking on top of the dock irritated a honeybee nest that was underneath the dock that we did not know was there. And I got stung about 80 times um, from those bees and got rushed to the hospital. Following that traumatic experience when I was three years old, you know, I had this fear of, of any stinging insect. Ironically, 30 some years later, I am into beekeeping. As I'm in my apiary, I'm around 600,000 bees at any given time out of the 12 hives. My dad's good friend, Rich Haney, he's a retired Marine. He's the one that really got me into beekeeping. You know, Rich and my dad and I, we've been hunting and fishing and camping my entire life. Once Rich retired from his day-to-day -day job, he, he got back into beekeeping. And currently he has about 130 hives up in Medina, Ohio, Amy's apiaries. And, you know, he would always talk about the importance of bees, the science behind the bees, the fun that it is to be a beekeeper, and really gauged my interest in beekeeping. So the first fear I had to overcome was actually the bee itself. One of the first techniques that I used to help overcome my fear of the bee itself was making sure I had proper safety equipment. So your head veil, a full stingproof bee suit, and your protective gloves and the use of the smoker. That kind of gave me a little bit of a comfort level as I was inspecting my hives. If you get into beekeeping, you are gonna get stung at some point in time by bees. So you're just gonna have to work through that, that fear or that pain, that, that cautiousness of beekeeping and being stung by a bee. So the second fear that I really had to overcome was the fear of failure. You know, after my first attempt at, at keeping a hive and, and the hive died, I thought to myself, oh boy, I'm never gonna be able to do this. I don't know enough. So I, I really, again, took that time, that downtime of not having a hive and really spent time with Rich and other beekeepers in their apiaries to ensure that when I got my next hive that following spring, that I had the best tools in my toolbox to, to succeed. So that brings me to my third fear, spending money. One, I had to convince my wife to, to spend more money on something that I had failed at. And two, my own self in, internal feelings about spending money that's something I had failed at. And through my research, I really was drawn to the wax-coated beehives that are on the market today. And there's many different manufacturers that, that offer these types of products. And I have tried multiple manufacturers of the wax-coated beehives. The best ones that I have found are Hoover hives. One, they hold up to the weather the best. They look fantastic. And I have found that the, the plastic foundations that come with the Hoover hives, the bees really draw out the comb very fast, very uniform, and it allows them to store resources like pollen and nectar and, and lay and allow the queen to lay brood in the, on those plastic foundations a lot faster than some of the other competitors that are on the market. So investing in high quality equipment that is proven to succeed is a great piece of advice for any new and existing beekeeper. So there you have it, my three fears that I had to overcome to be a successful beekeeper. The first one was the fear of the bee itself. The second was the fear of failure. And the third one was the fear of the financial commitment to beekeeping. So I wanna leave you folks with one more thing. The very first question that I was ever asked when I was interested in beekeeping, do you care about the bees or do you care about the honey? What I learned through my beekeeping journey, if you care about the bees and take care of the bees, the honey will follow. So don't be afraid. You guys can do this and I'll see you in the apiary.